Hey everybody, this is Major League Hats, and today we are going to be doing another hat review. But before we get started on the hat review, I want to give a shout out to my favorite little cloud fighter. She knows who she is. She's my niece, of course, so she's been watching my videos, so I just want to take a second to say, Hello, Issa. How you doing? All right, so let's get on to today's Major League Hats Most Wanted Hat. The hat that I want to get, and I had an opportunity to get this hat in Atlanta and actually get the hat on sale, and I, I just didn't do it. I'm not sure why. It was a very good price. It was like 20 bucks. It was actually at the airport where I saw the hat, um, but I, I just didn't get it. I guess because I already kind of felt bad because I already spent a lot of money on that particular trip. So it's just like, eh. Yeah. So I didn't get it. But anyways, I want to get the old style Atlanta Braves hat with the lowercase a. It has the white in the middle with the blue sides, kind of like that pinwheel effect. I'm going to provide a picture here at the top so you know what it looks like. Today's Major League Hats Most Wanted is the old style Atlanta Braves small a pin style cap. So let's get on to today's hat review. So if you've been watching my videos and you saw my two massive unboxing videos, I got a bunch of hats in there. But one of the hats that I pulled out was the, bam, the Sacramento River Cats. And I like this hat. Uh, if you guys do not know, the Sacramento River Cats are the San Francisco Giants uh, AAA affiliation. They have been with the Giants for a couple years now. And as you can see, it has a nice uh, maroon color with some gold outlining here. You got your black rim, of course, your black cap, a black button. But the cool part about this that I like is that they have the Major League Parent Club on the side, so you have the SF. Now, what is the cool looking part about that SF? It's in the same maroon color that the R and the C are in on the River Cats. The only thing that you, they could have done differently, as you can see, is that it has this white funky outlining uh, to it. And I, I don't get that. I think they should have went with the gold outlining to match the RC like they've done on other similar hats where they try to match the whole parent club logo with the front. So I don't think they did a good job on that. I do like it though. I like how they did the maroon part, but that white part, that white outlining, no. No, shouldn't have done that. Uh, the only thing I can say is maybe they were trying to match the back because as you can see, there's kind of like a black maroon with the white outlining there. And then you have the maroon new era flag right there. You have your gray underbill. Uh, you got a black sweatband, seven and five eighths. This one is made in China and is made out of wool. Uh, as I mentioned though, it says it's made out of wool. It doesn't really feel like wool, uh, I was telling you. Earlier from another hat that I sh did a hat review on, uh, it was made out of polyester. And when I was doing the hat review on the Fresno Grizzlies, that one was made out of wool as well, but it seemed like it's a cheaper wool. And to me, that one felt more like the polyester style, but this says that it is made out of wool. And just to show you, here is the little tag that shows that it is made out of wool and it's made in China. So if you don't have a River Cats hat, I would definitely go with the Parent Club Edition. Now, as I tried on another hat, these are seven and five eighths. And as you can see, this has a snug feel to it. So if you are a seven and a half naturally, I'd probably go with these seven and five eighths. Cause look, this one's a seven and a half and you already see how kind of like snug it is. And I really don't have a lot of hair. So when my hair grows out, it gets really tight. And this is a seven and five eighths and it's almost similar. It's a tad bit loose, but it's not like some of the other seven and five eighths where they're really loose. So I'd probably recommend just going up one more size. So of course, if you're seven and a quarter, go to seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and five eighths. But you know what I mean? mean uh, but these do seem to run a little smaller so uh, I do like the hat just because it does say it's a San Francisco Giants hat and if you don't have a River Cats hat I would definitely go with this one now the the little thing about that though is I'm not a big fan of just like the letters on it and they do have a nice one with the a River Cat picture logo emblem on the front um, I do prefer that one most of the time as it is if you already have that one I would definitely go out and get this one because like I said I do like the fact that they throw on the parent clubs on the side I just don't like the way they did the SF they should have did it with the gold outlining all right, so I hope you like my hat review on the Sacramento River Cats 
Parent Club Edition hat. Let me know what you think of these hats. Do you like these hats? Uh, which one do you think I should maybe get next? Uh, but remember, you got to stay tuned for all the videos to see which ones I have. Please leave a like on this video if you like it. I'm trying to get 20 likes on all my videos. If you want to send me any fan mail or uh, support my channel through my Patreon page, I'll supply my address and the links there at the end. All right, thank you for watching, everybody. It's Major League Hats out. Bye, everybody. See ya.